Anti-Semitism is a despicable, harmful, and extremely unfortunate side of humanity. I can't stand it and think it has no place in the world. That being said, hiding behind anti-Semitism and using it to silence and cover up the fundamental human rights violations of Palestinians is absolutely disgusting. Last week, Palestinian activist Mohammed al-Kurd was accused of being an anti-Semite ahead of his speech at Georgetown University for a poem he wrote years ago and tweets he wrote criticizing Israel and Zionism for the violence he and his family have experienced from Israeli settlers. He was accused of echoing the medieval anti-Semitic trope of blood libel. The poem included a footnote to a story where the Israeli government admitted to harvesting organs from Palestinian bodies without their family's consent, which is what he was referring to. The ones bringing attention to the ridiculous conspiracy that is blood libel are those trying to cancel Al-Kurd and take focus away from him speaking about the inhumane living conditions in the occupied territories. It's way past time we make it clear that valid criticism of the occupation, Zionism, and the Israeli government is not anti-Semitism. And saying so not only does a disservice to those who have actually experienced real anti-Semitism, but is a gross attempt to take away focus from the suffering Palestinians have endured for decades.